I'm going to do something I don't usually do. I'm going to go a little controversial. And it involves NASCAR. Boy, that's a surprise. And the NASCAR Drive for Diversity is a good program. Because if they can get more blacks, more Hispanics involved in the racing, they'll get more blacks, Hispanics, etc. in the stands. That That's a good idea. Bring more people out to the races. Got no problem with that. But I want to talk specifically about Darrell Wallace Jr. Now, I believe he has a future in racing. But NASCAR is kind of looking past their policy, in my opinion. Here's why I say that. The general protocol for a driver to run in one of the three top series in NASCAR, be it the Sprint Cup, the Nationwide, or the uh, Camping World Truck Series, is first you get experience on the short tracks, which he has in the K&M Pro Series, no argument there. Second, you get experience on a couple mile tracks, which again in the K&N and even the uh, na Nationwide, he's run places like Loudoun and Dover. There's the miles. Then next you go to the intermediate tracks, a mile and a half, or maybe even the two miles considered intermediate. Atlanta, Kentucky comes to mind. Michigan and California, I believe, are two miles. Texas track. That's the intermediate. But they are wanting to fast track him so much because they're so far that drive to diversity, which is a good program. They're going to let him run a full season in a truck for Kyle Busch. Sorry, but that's just wrong. He does not have the experience to do it. What happened to, now I know he's going to run the ARCA race here in a couple hours at Daytona. Chances are, I'm going to predict right now, I'm doing this at just a couple minutes after two. The ARCA race is scheduled on speed at four. I'm going to predict he'll be in a wreck in the ARCA race. He's in good equipment. He's probably over his head. He has zero experience with the draft except in practice at a track like Daytona or Talladega. But why not get him? Why not make him go through like everybody else does? Is Toyota putting pressure on NASCAR? And the reason I'm so strong about this, I'm going to throw out two names. Most of you never heard of them. Talmadaj Prince and Ricky Knotts. Both these drivers with limited super speedway experience bought race cars and went to Daytona. Grand National cars or Winston Cup cars as they were known back in. They were both killed in the 125 mile qualifying races. Now granted, you're talking, I think Prince was 1970, Knotts was late 70s or maybe 1980. The cars have come a long way. They're safer. But why are they fast-tracking him? Is it Gibbs putting pressure on NASCAR? Toyota putting pressure on NASCAR? Or is just NASCAR so much for this drive to the diversity program they look past the rules? It's wrong. Why is he not getting the experience everybody else has to get? I mean, if I got a gazillion dollars, I can't go buy a car take it to Daytona and say, I'm going to drive it in the Daytona 500. They're going to laugh me out of the place. I'll say, son, you can put a driver in it, but you can't drive it. Okay? That's the rules. But he's kind of bypassing. I figure if they do let him run the truck race, I figure he'll wreck today. I figure he'll wreck in the truck race. Now, he's got a future in racing. But what if I'm not if it'd be a career-ending injury because they let him run too soon. It's a bad idea. That's just my opinion. I know this is controversial. I'm not against Darrell Wallace Jr. at all. Somebody with a... I consider him... I've watched a few of the races he's run. I've watched on YouTube where he had the little shoving match after the race at Bowman Gray Stadium. I consider him maybe to a point a younger Tony Stewart and he's got a temper. That's okay. Sport NASCAR needs more personalities like that, but why aren't they doing it by the book? That's just my question.